Hi there, I am Arya Shinde from class 10 CBC. I am a part of Atul Tutorials. Today I am here to present my science video for Atul the Science Fair 2022. So as we know there are three parts in science. First is chemistry, physics, then biology. So now let us look on into chemistry. In chemistry, organic chemistry is the main core part of chemistry subject. Let us understand what is organic chemistry. Organic chemistry is the chemistry related to carbon. Now let us look on into carbon. What is carbon? The word carbon is derived from a Latin word named carbo which means coal. Carbon is a non-metal element. It is present 0.03% in the earth's atmosphere and 0.02% in the earth's crust. So now let us look on to the role of carbon in organic chemistry. Carbon forms covalent bonds. As carbon has four electrons in its valence shell, it is not possible for carbon to lose or gain four electrons. So it forms bond by mutual sharing of electrons, which we can say as covalent bonding. First, carbon cannot gain four electrons as the nucleus of carbon contains six protons. The six protons nucleus cannot handle ten electrons, which means four electrons will be extra for the carbon atom. Second, carbon can neither lose four electrons as the losing of electrons will need much energy which the carbon atom does not. There are several compounds of carbon. The most known and basic compounds are CO2, carbon dioxide and CH4, methane. The structures are following. There are some physical forms of carbon too known as allotropes of carbon. The most known allotropes of carbon are diamond, graphite and buckminster fullerene. Now let us understand the versatile nature of carbon. First nature is carbon has unique ability to form bonds with other atoms of carbon giving rise to large molecules. This property is known as catenation. Example of catenation is ethane or propane. Second property is uh, tetravalency. As carbon has four valence electrons, it is able to bond with four other atoms. So it is known as tetravalent compound. Now let us look on into hydrocarbon compounds. Hydrocarbon compounds are the compounds formed by the bonding of only carbon and hydrogen atoms. In hydrocarbon compounds, there are two subparts saturated hydrocarbons and unsaturated hydrocarbons. In saturated hydrocarbons, the valences of all atoms are satisfied by single covalent bonding, example ethane and methane. In unsaturated hydrocarbons, all the valences of atoms are satisfied by either double covalent bonding or triple covalent bonding. Examples are butene or exant. Now let us look on into homologous series. Homologous series is the series of hydrocarbon compounds in which the compounds have similar chemical properties and they differ by CH2 group. The difference between the atomic masses is 14 atomic mass units. The homologous series for saturated hydrocarbon compounds is known as alkane series. The examples of alkane series with the structures are following. The homologous series for unsaturated hydrocarbon compounds are known as alkenes for double bonded compounds and alkynes for triple bonded compounds. The examples with the structures for alkene series follow. Examples for alkyne series with the structures is following. 